10 year old boy is brought to pediatrician by his mother for evaluation of fever malaise and new onset full body pleuritic rash for past 5 days his immunization history is unavailable mm, vitals are kind of normal examination shows that skin uh, has diffuse peeling vesicular lesion involving arm and chest pediatrician diagnoses chicken pox and reassures the patient's mother a few days later boy returns to clinic for a follow up skin lesions have healed and scars have formed the formation of these scars is best described by which of the following statement scar represent complete resolution of acute inflammation scar are part of healing process of acute inflammation scar are permanent and remain throughout a patient's lifetime in all cases neutrophil plasma cell and macrophages are predominant cells in these lesion the lesion have progressed to chronic inflammation so this is a question a very long uh, clinical vignette but at the end they have given that this boy has chicken pox and he has come with um, with the mother after few days and there are some scars so what do these scars represent so first of all this is how how those scars look like so maybe in exam what they do is uh, instead of giving you that the 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 boy presents with scar they might show you just this photo they might just show you this photo and tell you that what stage of um, inflammation is going on or what is going on instead of describing them in words they might show you just this image so this is a healing chicken pox so um, basically in chicken pox uh, after the infection by varicella uh, what happens is that there are blister formation blister after few days get converted into ulcer ulcer after few days get converted into scar scar after few days become completely normal okay so the first option was the scar represent complete resolution of acute inflammation this is not true complete resolution of acute inflammation is basically normal skin when the skin is normal that at that time we will call it as complete resolution scar are part of healing process of acute inflammation basically it's a, it's, it's it's the stage it is a stage before the uh, the normal skin forms but uh, one point that you should remember is that when scar formation starts uh, there there is less chances of um, the contagious nature of the virus decreases uh, when when the scar is formed the scar are permanent and remain throughout a patient's lifetime in all cases wrong in most cases scar um, scar disappear in very few cases they remain neutrophil plasma cell macrophages are predominant cell in this lesion these cells indicate formation of pus but there was no no indication that this this patient has pus so this is wrong lesions have progressed to chronic inflammation no chronic inflammation in case of um, some kind of um, de de deformation of the skin that that maybe we can call as chronic inflammation but this is clearly the patient comes after how many days two or three days and uh, has these scars so these scars are part of healing process of acute inflammation they are not the last stage after the formation of scar there is formation of normal skin thanks for watching please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more